When you first got here, what did you miss most about Jamaica? What did you miss? Apart from the weather, because not you said much, the weather was not terrible. Much, not much, because I didn't really know Jamaica. Because when I come here when I was 16, I didn't have much of a life in Jamaica. When I spent most of my life in England, it was only one chair in the shop. And I turned the shop from where well, it's nothing to where it is now. Yeah. When did people start to know about the shop? I mean, because you're here, but how long did it take before you started getting a few customers? Did it take a little while? No, not long. Because any time um, we do any jobs, right, it always advertises itself. And people are um, saying people here all the time. If I come here, here and um, somebody else like you, you tell them where you've been, and they come here. So See, you, but most, you, of, most of my customers, the people who I trim, right? Very ugly, you see. And um, when I finish with them, right, they look good. That's why I get a lot of work. Because Are you saying there are a lot of ugly people around? <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's why I haven't been in the shop recently, because I'm not ugly, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going to say that's the, that's the clip of the day already. Um, okay, no, but all this, right. they, no, but this no. man, this man said to me, "All right, then, since you put it that way, then right, do what you want to do with my head, right? So when they finish, I'm not going to tell you. I'm still trembling now okay. after 30 odd years. Okay. And we friends we like that. It's only humorous what I said to people that make you laugh. It's in, yeah, but I don't really mean it. Yeah. How important has this place? Been to you in here? Hmm. Good question. You mean being in England? No. How important has the barbershop been to you? Well, it's got to be important because I get a living from it. I mean, a lot of people come here all the time, you know, they use the shop just as much as I do. But from talking to you, yeah. I think it's more than just your living. It feels to me like this is you. You are in this place. Do you know what I mean? Well, put it this way then. If I wasn't in the shop, I'd miss the shop. Do you understand? My heart's always been in the shop. Yeah. And the people who come inside the shop become like families. You see, that's what happens. We get friendly with the customer. Yeah, that's the sort of customer who I have anyway. Yeah. Let me ask you something else. When you, you said when you first came to Britain, some of the people were nice, some of the people weren't so nice. Yes. Do you think it has changed a lot as you got older? Do you think there is less of some of the problems that perhaps you felt back then now? And you know the problems I mean. Well, I live with the people, right? And I get out with almost everybody, you see. I don't really have um, any enemies. It's so I mean, and I treat people fair. You see, I don't come around here looking at people because of colour or anything. I just treat you as a human being, you see. That's how I live. Yes. I'm not going to tell you that people were bad to me and was this to me. It wasn't. When I, when I um, come here first, there's no intention. In, I come here to stay. I want to do uh, more or less go back. But since here so long, when I go back, I want to come back. In the way way home, they want to come back here now. So if somebody was to say to you, Dougie, are you a Jamaican man or are you a British man, what would you say? Both. You're both? Yes. I am a British man and a Jamaican man. Both. Will you go back to Jamaica to live or will you stay? Good question. Thank you. I think I stay. I think I stay for a while more.
Yes, sir, you know, keep going and coming at the youth today. Pretty much final question, really. Are you a happy man? If I'm happy, yes. I'm happy because I love everybody, I don't hate anybody. And I think the people around here like me as well. So, I've got no problem, really. No. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. That's brilliant. You getting around the book. They thought it was great. No. You weren't tense. <laughs> thank you. So you think very much I, I, so I thank you. Want to you. People don't know me, so when they come in and you see me, you get a different attitude to me because you don't even know I get this in Manchester. Yeah. So um, if you didn't come here today, you this evening, you just over here about him, not like that. Everybody, I'm more like a household name. Yeah. I'm not, nobody will tell you anything bad about Douglas, nothing bad about me, but good. Yes. You see, I'm like um, a cure. You see, me like if you're sick, you know, me, you're about that, you'll be all right. I mean, you so know, you cure you, the you, sick yeah. and you also cure the ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cure the ugly of bad hair. <laughs> there are footballers all over the walls, yes. there are boxers all, all over the walls. All the footballers come to the shop. All of the footballers from all over England, not only Manchester United and Manchester City, come here as you see on the wall. Okay. So they, they all come here. Very important football. Let's see them up there. You've got and Mike Tyson football. up there, you've got Chris Eubank up there, yes. you've got Lennox Lewis. Yes. And we got um, Lewis, we got, we got um, Paul McGrath, we got Dave Anderson, yeah. we got um, uh, Terry Field, and we got. Um, uh, Sylvester, we got Yaki, we got Coley, uh, we have everybody up there more or less on the wall. Some of them not on the wall anyway, but they always come. Um, yeah. the, the only time they stop coming is when they're dead. Um, why do you think the word got around amongst the famous people that this was because the place to come? I said to you before, right, this is the man who changed the face. I could do a lot to you. Dougie, thank you very much indeed. I think we're good to go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm never coming back in this damn show. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Dougie. That was great. That was great. Thanks to you, Greg, to the you shit Oh, is that right? Is that right? Okay. Okay. I think they're all right, but hey, thank you. <laughs> right? Right. Marvellous. And even us didn't come here and be insulted. My goodness. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Really nice. Thank you. He's a great star.